Megan Price. I'm the head women's basketball coach here at Hawassi College, and I have Tim Davis here with me. He is a Hawassi alumni, and he has been at some pretty great programs throughout the years, including Clemson and Tennessee Tech, so we're glad to have you here. Great. Thanks, Megan. Great <laughs> to be back at Hawassi College. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask uh, Coach Davis a few questions, um, just so you guys can get to know him. Uh, Coach Davis, what years were you here at Hawassi College? Ooh, well, someone asked me uh, if this building had changed, and this building wasn't even here when I was here. It was the old gym. <laughs> but I, I was here from 1960, uh, 64 to 1966. And uh, I've told you all earlier today, two of the greatest years of my life. I made so many friends here. We had such a good time at Hawassi College. That's awesome. That's awesome to hear. Uh, tell us one of your best memories that you've had since you've been at Hawassi. You know, I was uh, telling Coach Watson on the way up here, we, uh, uh, there, Hawassi, there's, there's wasn't a lot to do back during those days, uh, but we never lacked for fun. It was so, I remember going to the uh, student center and playing ping pong with Kenneth Mosier and, and uh, we'd go to the old gym and, uh, and play pickup and uh, just great friendships uh, and everything. Of course, the primary purpose in being here was getting a college education and, and I got a great education at Hawassi College. I wouldn't trade it for anything. That's awesome. Okay, so tell me what advice would you give to young coaches who are starting out um, at the college level, high school, middle school, um, anyone just who's starting out in the college world? You know, uh, I knew in the seventh grade that I wanted to be a basketball coach. I never dreamed I'd be coaching at the collegiate level. I thought I'd be a high school basketball coach all my life, and that would have been been wonderful. I'd have been perfectly happy doing that. But uh, find people who are willing to mentor you. One of the great things about Hawassi College was uh, we had Coach Dwayne Farmer, Coach LeBron Bell, Coach Nick Menikoff, uh, and Coach Jim Cheek. Uh, all those are people that just uh, would take you under their wing and help you and uh, you know you would emulate what they did uh, and it, it was just so much fun and I, I remember from those people a lot of the the things that I did in bas on the basketball court uh, came from them but uh, quite often it's things that you do off the basketball court that really make you it's not always about uh, the Jimmys and the Joes, it's about the X's and uh, not always about the X's and O's, it's about the Jimmys and Joes. So learning to get along with people, learning to, uh, uh, I guess, uh, work with people. And uh, but the coaches here at Hiawassee helped mold me, I'm sure, and a lot of other coaches. I've got a lot of friends in the coaching <laughs> business that were mentored by Coach Farmer, Coach Bell, and uh, Coach Menikoff. Right. Okay, so you got to tell us, where was your favorite place to coach at before we ended? I'll throw that one on you. <laughs> You're not uh, going to believe this, but uh, I'm from Inglewood, Tennessee, mm -hmm. just down the road a few miles. And my first two years of coaching was at Inglewood Junior High School. And a lot of my players would say, Coach, get me a job as a GA, get me a job uh, as a student assistant at the college level. And I said, you need to pay your dues. Go to those junior high schools and high schools and learn. And two of the best years of my coaching career were at Inglewood Junior High School. That's awesome. That's so cool to hear. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to let you know, we're starting a tradition this year, and we are going to begin uh, with homecoming, and we're going to do an honorary coach. And so I'm asking you, would you love to be the honorary coach for our women's basketball game? Well, you kind of put me on the spot. Man. I did. I That's hope what you coaching say yes. is all about. I hope I, you say yes. I will be here. Uh, if good. you'll have me, I'll be here. I'm not calling any timeouts. <laughs> I'm not calling anything. I'm just sitting there watching and enjoying the game. Okay. How about that? So, that sounds great. <laughs> that sounds great. Um, just want to say thank you to Jim Davis for uh, coming in today and having an interview with us, and we look forward to many more alumni. So thank you.